Campbell, and I doubt we'll ever see another. I recognize her. Do you recognize her? I recognize her. Now the comment section nearly as brutal as hers. She gets called Heavy Potter, Lesbian Peter Griffin, oh, and White no. Kim Jong Un. Oh no! Oh no! Bro, they're disrespecting her! That's crazy! Now, what was that first one? What was that first one? She gets called Heavy Potter. Heavy Potter. Lesbian, Lesbian Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. And, and what was the last Kim one? -un. Although, if you're familiar with Caitlyn the first one's content, crazy. First one's you might craziest. argue that she really doesn't deserve it. Her videos focus on the uncontroversial topic of coffee, initially posting coffee? tutorials on how to make certain how types she? or use specific pieces of gear. My goal on TikTok. How is she hated if it's all about coffee? Okay. ...is to help you brew the best coffee you possibly can at home. Since she was also promoting her own product called Street Brew, Caitlin added videos talking about how she ran her business. Welcome to the day in the life of a 29-year-old small business owner who makes coffee for a living. I am. I'm back. Living. And while this was already hard enough to manage, running a small business, so running any kind of business is tough. There are going to be bad days, there are going to be bad seasons, there are going to be days you want to throw in the towel. There was another thing making it even harder. From the moment I started posting on TikTok, I was met with hate and trolls. It's a podcast, she made it to podcast level, so... Was it negative comments? Like, really? The moment I started posting. You're like, here's some coffee. <laughs> yeah. Happy podcast. And just like, like destroy. <laughs> on an early video encouraging people to open their own business, Caitlin received comments such as, maybe start a gym, CEO of food, and... Nah. Nah, you can't do that. What was that last one? All you do is roast coffee beans, All calm you do down. is okay. roast coffee beans, calm down. This understandably began to hurt her feelings. Definitely, like, really bothered me, because, yeah. like, in real life, people aren't jerks like that. Yes. Uh, this is a very important <laughs> point to me. So much that Caitlin felt the need to reply to the negative comments. Building a community. Yeah, you started it all. Never claimed I started it all. How can you be good at coffee? The same way you can be good at anything else. Practice and make better coffee. You're just making coffee. Everyone is good at making coffee. I bet to differ with the kid she's just she's just okay that laughing emoji uh, laughing emoji at the end a bit a bit crazy like um i mean if she didn't put the laughing emojis at the end it would all be fine and i think that she, she make a belly up making valid arguments so i think she the laughing emoji still off and she's trying to be rude about it i think if she didn't she would have been fine but Let's hear what he says. Let's hear what he says. Why does she even respond though? I know no one in the no one in the one thing you have to do with hate comments is just don't respond. Uh and if you do respond, don't put any emoji. Just make it let them interpret it how they think it is. And then you say how you you interpret it. Don't put a lot of emoji now no makes any The same way you can be good at anything. Practice makes makes better coffee. Practice and make better coffee. Laughing emoji. And yeah. To make better this, uh, coffee. Please. You're just making coffee. Everyone is good at making coffee. I beg to differ with the continual hate bringing Caitlin to a crossroad. Yeah, I don't know how to make coffee. I do not know how to make I can I can make tea. I can't make, co I don't, I can't make coffee. I don't know how. What are these forces in the background? What, are, what is this? Of course you do. What is this? For, what is this? What is this lazy eye? I make every day. All right, we get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. You have two choices: it. keep posting content and ignore the trolls, ignore the haters, and go out there and win, or stop posting content and do something else. Rather than defending herself, Caitlin began embracing the elements that made her page unique. How I deal with the hate? I don't live and die by the comments. I'm not searching for validation from people who don't know me. And when asked if she could focus on the coffee and not inspirational speeches, Caitlin politely told the viewer that she'd keep doing whatever she wanted, which when done this eloquently, certainly- I would just like, not respond and just keep doing it. Is that, is that, is that like a bad take? I would just respond. Oh, wait, I need to change the- Armor. It's so funny to that. see people getting so triggered over somebody sharing stuff about- their passion. We get it, you don't like coffee. It honestly blows my mind. People get so- nah, bro, alright. This guy. Joji, Joj, 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 did you get that? True. Completely true, I, I get it. But then, 
don't have a profile picture of you like this with two guns. Look at it, look. That's just like the weirdest profile picture I think I've ever seen. Is that, is that, could that, could it get any more American? triggered over coffee. Why are people getting so mad? It's literally just coffee. Say it louder for the people in the back. It's so funny to see people get mad you like coffee. Everyone has hobbies, so what's wrong with coffee being one? It's crazy how triggered people get, although this failed to stop the rapidly increasing negative comments. On a video simply talk- I just got it. I just got the large business owner thing. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy about her daily coffee intake, viewers berated her by stating, how about you watch your calorie intake too? You eat two chocolate cakes a day though too, yeah? You don't look like you worry about intake. Why are they just cooking her, bro? I guess she didn't really help herself by cringe. making lattes out of Fruit Loops. Or the it's the next Nikado avocado. Though the shirt she was wearing it's in the video it. revealed it. another reason she perhaps didn't deserve the hate. Caitlin explained that she began TikTok because she missed out on her dream job. So I got rejected from what I thought was like my dream job at the time. I used to be a pastor. It was a, a very big pastoring job. Which was a role she'd been studying for over four years. So I wanted to go into ministry. That's what I went to yeah. school for. I worked in ministry for four years. And while being religious doesn't automatically make her better or moral, you could say that somebody who dreams of being a church pastor might be slightly more ethical than the standard TikTok troll. Because Caitlin then revealed that 20% of her company's revenue goes to the homeless population in her city, which if anything led to a positive article type. That's great. That's, po that's positive. I uh, don't know what she gets hate though. Is he going to explain why she gets hate? Father or is there no reason? duo behind Street Brew Coffee wants to serve up real change for Toronto's homeless. Caitlin also managed to land a spot on breakfast television. Is Toronto's homeless bad? Okay, yeah, there's a Reddit article straight away saying, I'm tired of dealing with homeless and people in, on the TTT. Arth was reversed and Street Brew Coffee wants to serve up real change for Toronto's homeless. Kaylin also managed to land a spot on breakfast television until her positive path was reversed by one single TikTok that created a whole oh, new wave it. of hate. Making coffee is harder than your nine to five. Hear me out. First, you have to weigh out your coffee to the exact gram, and then you have to get it ground up. It is exhausting turning this crank over and over again. Then, after weighing out your water and getting it heated up, you have to pour it out and do that. It is just motions to do. over and over and over again. See, you know, you know too. Weight. The whole you process can take four to six plus minutes, depending on what brew method you're using. Just pouring water over and over. Then, finally, after all that hard work, you can enjoy the cup. But man, I'm exhausted. I need a nap. After her TikTok you gained over two million that. views, Caitlin. Was duetted by people working in manual labor. Making coffee is harder than your nine to five. <laughs> Crazy. Which were captioned with titles such as yeah, So thankful I'm not making good. coffee anytime soon. Honestly don't know how I'd manage. When a similar duet gained over 13,000 upvotes, most people managed to realize that Caitlyn's video good. was satire. However, it seemed as though the backlash was exactly what she wanted. Okay, yeah, I'm satire, just trying satire. to engagement bait. That's satire. And this is what if, was, if she was actually real about that, yeah, she, yeah. If she was real about that, that would be crazy. But no, okay. At least it's my goal. Given a single negative tweet bashing Caitlyn would explode her mainstream presence. The post featured a video of Caitlyn with the caption, "What is this phenotype? Nickelodeon and its consequences." To which Caitlyn politely responded, "Oh hey, that's me. I just love my job and want to make people smile." Which wound up gaining over 30 million views. Her humble response led to favor from the media, as well as a shout out from an Instagram page called Quinton Quarry. Quarantino, uh, with a post gaining almost 70,000 likes. What did she do? Why did everyone hate her? I, she doesn't seem too bad. Oh, the title says so she doesn't. Caitlin explained how much the hate had helped her grow. A couple days ago, a troll posted one of my pop-up videos in the hopes of tearing me down and spreading negativity, but it backfired in the best way possible. We were flooded with orders. We had our best sales day ever. We grew thousands of followers and just got so much positive feedback, comments, and messages. Although with a bigger Instagram following, Caitlin faced another problem. While TikTok automatically filters hateful comments, Instagram isn't quite so generous nice job biggie let me show you this about uh what
Yeah. That's wild. And as a result, her posts filled with nothing but brutal insults. In the process, Caitlyn cultivated the US. world's most dedicated hater, Anonymous51782, who went through all of her old posts to write negative comments oh, on whoa. all of them. Caitlyn's haters also developed a whole new style of comment, simply writing hate from followed by their place. There was hate from Epstein's Island, hate from St. Jude's Children's Hospital, hate from the front lines of Ukraine, and hate from the cartels, but more simply there was no, hate from really Australia, which gained the attention of the Yo Mama's House podcast. The cartel out to get her bro. This is one of the biggest ones that goes, people just write hate. <laughs> hate from Australia. <laughs> hey, hater. We're on the other side <laughs> of the world. Just want you to know that I hate you. <laughs> In a 13 minute video talking about the hate, Tom Segura pointed out that the comments were getting more likes than she had followers. Ignore all the positive comments. <laughs> 70,000 likes. I thought it said only ignore, I thought it meant like ignore the negative comments before I actually read it properly. That's, that is like, wild. I don't know. She, she doesn't have she, like a million. She doesn't even have what's followers. This is a meager account. Yeah. I mean, it has like 40,000, <laughs> which is not nothing for sure. Although. More likes than her. It'd be also through. Yeah! The one like. That one comment has more likes than her actual account at the time. Wow. This video that Caitlyn's following quadrupled, which she'd capitalize on in a pretty clever way by launching a Hey from Australia coffee blend. Talk about turning lemon. That's wild. That's actually wild. Oh, made from lemons. Brilliant marketing move. As a result, Caitlin became a guest on the podcast. So we got your mom shows coffee, uh, and then the hate from Australia, which is actually <laughs> Australian coffee. So nice this blend. Is. And when given the chance to slam her competition, she'd instead do the opposite. I've gotcha. heard a lot of coffee enthusiasts say that Starbucks is crap. What's your take on that? We owe a lot of third wave coffee success to Starbucks, so no animosity there. They started the third wave coffee movement. Without them, local roasters like me wouldn't exist. Caitlin then expanded on her strategy for dealing with hate. Don't say that. I know who I am as a yeah. person. I'm, I'm very confident in who I am. I have a great support system. That's awesome. A uh, very close circle of people, and they can call me on my BS, and they're more than allowed to, and if you're not in my close circle, I don't really care about your opinion Such that cheaply. Good, <laughs> good, good way. After which she and Tom filmed a classic TikTok workout. And with comments such as, Tom Segura bought me here and you're now my favorite person. It seemed her appearance on the podcast had made a significant impact. Caitlin's therefore become so popular, she's had to reject certain coffee events. We are getting emails. They're like, oh, we want to come here. We want to come here. We're like, absolutely not. No. We are taking the year off, the rest of the year off. With her social media journey being best summarized by the following comment. Words cannot express how much much love I have for all the hate you've gotten. Look what happens when you're a good sport and roll with the punches while staying true to your original mission. So yeah, crazy. I think what you're just gonna do there is just like just ignore it. I mean, don't reply to it. I mean, I know the first thing you do was reply to it. I gotta go now. Uh, but I know she replied to it. I, I, don't, I just don't think you should reply to it. It's probably the worst thing you could probably do. Uh, other than that. Oh,